Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you guys are all having amazing, amazing days. Uh, I hope you guys all started your days with some type of routine like we've been talking about, working on that mindset. But uh, anyways, guys, um, this is Weez and Wilson spilling those beans. And uh, we're gonna be going over some stuff with social media uh, marketing. Uh, but before that, I just wanna say, if any of you guys can see any value in this, if you guys like what we're putting out there, you wanna see other people, um, you know, get this information, please like, subscribe, share it, tag other people in, in these videos. Um, we're just gonna keep going on uh, and dropping more and more information every single week, really trying to help you guys build your guys' lives up to really have profitability um, in it and as much joy and happiness because that's what life's all about, right? So we're just trying to give you those tools so you can live that better lifestyle. Um, but anyways, uh, Louisa, why don't you tell them a little bit about what we're going to be going over today um, and everything. Yes, that was really nice, Mark. That was like warm and fuzzy, you know. Very I try my best. Uh, I mean, uh, my nickname used to be Bear and it wasn't because I was always angry. It was the other side of things, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't the beard? No, no, no. That was, be that was when I was like, you know. You, yeah, you guys have to see a photo of Mark pre-beard. You would not recognize him. <laughs> anyway, so enough about Mark and his fuzziness. Uh, so today we're going to talk about social media and how you can utilize social media to actually make some money. I know how much everybody loves money. I know I love money. I know Mark loves money because it brings freedom. And that's the main reason we all love money, right? Because it brings freedom. So social media, uh, you use it every day, multiple times a day. It's probably the first thing you look at when you wake up in the morning. So why not actually make money whilst looking at social media? It's super easy to do it. Uh, and that's what we're going to go over today. So Mark, do you want to maybe go over, I don't know, the different avenues? Yeah, for sure. Um, so pretty much every single social media platform. So if you guys don't know what social media is, we'll just break that down real quick for you first. That's Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, um, Pinterest, like it, it, the list goes on. So that's just, that's just some of them that are, um, that are out there that are used on a daily basis. So any of those platforms have something on there that you can market. So I'm sure you've gone through um, your Facebook news feed and seen like some type of post. You're like, oh, that person's not my friend. And it's a sponsor beside it. That would be a advertisement that someone's paid to put in front of your face, okay? So there's tons of different ways to put those advertisements on all the different platforms. If you look at, say, Facebook, probably has the most. Uh, you can put things on people's news feeds, on the right side of their screen, on their um, messenger, on marketplace, um, in between videos, in uh, the start of videos. There's tons of different ways, like YouTube. You know, you, I'm sure everyone's seen that, like just wait that five seconds so you can hit that skip button um, on, on YouTube and then like the side view. So there's just tons of different ways that you can market on all these platforms some ways that really are effective and some ways that, you know, aren't like that last one that I was saying to you, you know, that YouTube one that everyone's always just waiting to click next because they don't see the value of whatever's getting put in front of them. People aren't choosing to, to actually view this. They're, you know, it's seen as a negative. So uh, we're going to go over some of those reasons uh, why you'd want to, how effective is it? And you know, why more of the world is going towards social media marketing um, opposed to, you know, those old uh, ways of, uh, you know, marketing, like, you know, advertisements on TV and whatnot. So, Louisa, why don't you just expand a little bit on, like, the different old ways of marketing and why those aren't as effective as, say, social media marketing. Okay, let's start with the newspaper. How many people read the newspaper, actually read the newspaper, buy it physically? I know I stopped buying the newspaper, I just read it online, right? So the newspaper, I mean, to pay like, and they charge so much money as well. To get just a little ad, you're gonna be paying at least like 800 to $2,000 just for a little ad like that in the newspaper, if it's a, if it's a good newspaper. Or there's television. What do we all do when we when there's an ad on TV? I know I fast forward. I I, I skip the ads every single time. I just skip I don't watch ads. anything live anymore. Like there's, yeah. we were just talking about this other day. Even live sports, like we try to record so we can you know not watch them, right? 
Yeah, so you just, you know, you skip ads. Plus, I mean, to, to advertise on, on, on TV, you're going to be paying like the hundreds of thousands of your advertising like prime spot, you know, which is where you want to be, basically. Then there are magazines, you know, not many people read magazines anymore. Um, radio. Um, I don't know about you, but I stream everything off Spotify or iTunes, so I don't really listen to the radio anymore. Um, so let's say, what do you think? And billboards, of course, there's billboards. Uh, but again, your ad budget for, for, for billboards has to be in the, in the thousands. So, I mean, you know, prominent com companies advertise on billboards, but that's slowing down like rapidly. Uh, it's just to sell a billboard nowadays it actually takes a lot of time. So yeah, we don't choose to advertise in those ways because one, it's a lot of money. Two, you're not reaching as many people as you would on social media. Um, so what I like to do is I prefer social media. I, my preference is Facebook or Instagram. Um, and you know how you were talking about Facebook, Mark, the different ways you can advertise and where it pops up. It's now you can also advertise on in, uh, Facebook stories. So, I mean, I'm obsessed with Instagram stories and Facebook stories. It's, it's like a bit of an unhealthy obsession, I think. But I love to know what people are doing. You know, so whenever I have some free time and I'm not working or anything, I always look, look through my stories and there's always ads coming up. So, you know, you get to see these ads and it doesn't cost a lot of money to, to advertise um, on social media. So do you think, Mark? Have I yeah. kind of... Yeah, like that, that's it's so true. So like, like those big things are is, you know, the startup costs for advertisement on all those avenues are such high, right? And no guaranteed return on, on investment. No advertisement is ever a guarantee. It's just like an estimated guess, right? And generally, you know, a smart estimated guess if you know what you're doing, right? Um, so th that is the big one. It's just so expensive to, to put out those things as well as you're not being able to, you know, really know who you're targeting. And that is very yeah. specific to if you're, you know, maybe on a sports channel on TV, if you're selling sports gear, but it has to be very, very niche related um, to that, that you can put those products. So like, you know, soccer cleats or, or whatnot, or sorry, football cleats if you're in uh, Europe, um, uh, and you want to, you know, market those things, maybe that would be a little bit more effective, but I'm pretty sure Nike, is, Nike and Adidas are going to be uh, paying a lot more money and being able to saturate that market. So it's just a harder, uh, like more big, you know, titans in those industries that have a lot more money that really can saturate that uh, are really going to be putting those specific niches um, and, and putting those products in front of the right people's faces. So basically, um, with social media, you can target whoever you want in any niche of the world. So if you want to sell diapers, you can target, you know, uh, new parents with kids in between the ages of these things. Like social media knows everything that you're doing. Uh, they're like big brother a little bit. It's kind of scary, but it's sweet so all scary. the time to utilize it, right? <laughs> yeah. So I almost think that they're like reading my mind sometimes because today I was thinking of something. Literally, I've never searched it ever online. And I was thinking about something. I'm not even kidding you. Two minutes later, I get an ad on Facebook about exactly what I was searching for. Like, uh, not thinking about. Kind of freaked me out. I've got to say, I'm like, I feel like it, they're reading my mind now as well. So I'm that, that's happened to me too. Like Instagram, I was uh, I was on it, and prior to like jumping on it, I was talking to my wife. I was like, oh, like I'm having these back issues because I sit in a chair all day long. Um, you know, posture. I'm a big dude that sometimes is is bad right so i was just like i wish i just had something that uh you know i could wear uh during the thing my wife's like oh just go get a broom and start wearing it like this when you're like you know just on a call and i'm like that sounds stupid uh but i go on instagram right afterwards and boom there's an advertisement for like a shoulder support and making sure that your posture is good and i was like that is creepy as f i bought it uh so i mean clearly it worked you know you're winning the like the ads game if you're targeting so such a specific person and they've bought the product like you i mean i've done that before I've bought the product like that because it's what i wanted i've been looking for it might as well just buy it Exactly. And, and that's why it's so easy to put the right product in front of the right person's faces if you know how to properly target. Uh, and you can really hone in on it to like the thousand of person if you want. And then the second part is, is the reach that you can get, um, it, which is so sweet. So you can, you know, 
It's not like having to say, create a billboard where you're just like, we have this huge marketing campaign. We spent a bunch of money even to like put this out there. And you know, I, I hope it works. Cause if it doesn't, uh, we're going to have to do it all over again. It's been, uh, so the cool part about like, you know, just being able to dip your toe in it a little bit. So you have an idea and Louise and me, we have tons of ideas all the time. And some of them we get super jacked up and super pumped up on. And we're like, this is the best ad ever. We're going to go crush it. We put it out there but like stay a hundred bucks into it and it goes mm, and it doesn't work. And we're like, damn it. But guess what? We can stop at a hundred bucks and it's just about making a new ad at that point in time. So just spend some time or pay somebody to write up something for us. And we try that one out. So it's really easy to do something called split testing and really dabble into a bunch of different, uh, um, you know, ads to make sure you're finding the one that you're going to get the best bang for your buck. And you're having to spend thousands upon thousands of dollars and really just hoping that it works and then have to spend a long time to, to get that up and going. So once you spend say five bucks, 10 bucks, a hundred bucks onto an ad and you know this is working, well, get it's really easy to profit or sorry, uh, scale it up so you can start really profiting from it. Uh, so say a hundred dollars, you're gonna reach, I don't know, what is that, about 20,000 people? Uh, so as soon as you hit a thousand dollars and only a thousand dollars and you're, you're, um, you're hitting about 200,000 people. So if you're selling like high ticket items that you're profiting like say like a thousand, five thousand dollars, you just need like one person out of this 200,000 specifically targeted uh, audience to purchase a product. So it just makes it so much easy, easier to scale that business and really, really, really um, make you some money and change that life, right? Oh yeah, for sure. And you can also like, it's not just about targeting the person you want. I can, re I can keep retargeting you, Mark, retargeting you for this back thing because I know that you're, in you're interested, you've clicked on it. So my ad's gonna keep showing up multiple times a day on your feed until you just like, screw this. I'm just gonna buy it because I mean, this is like a sign. Really and truly, it's not a sign. The person has done that on purpose to get that sale from you. It's just about the knowledge and how to actually do this. Sometimes people get really overwhelmed with this stuff, but it's, it's really not that hard once you kind of, you get to know a little bit a little bit of the basics and you've got the right course, so if you're following the right people, you know, you, you can learn a lot. I mean, social media, is, it's, just, it's just so amazing. I mean, I would have never thought like two years ago that I'd be, my life would be facing ads on social media to make money. I mean, it's blows my mind that this is what I, I bet you you thought like you would have to be some type of like marketing genius like with some type of degree and everything like that to even in, in in that right like that's how i thought i was like uh like as louisa makes fun of me all the time about like i didn't even know how to even open an instagram account let alone like you know <laughs> go through it and start marketing making pages all that type of stuff and i went from that in a short amount of time i was able to like make ads that i'm uh, targeting thousands upon thousands of people in a few days and you know really scaling up businesses and I have no experience at all like let alone like I, I was born with a learning disability I wasn't supposed to like read past a third grade level I don't have a college degree you were born with dyslexia also don't have a college degree and um, I mean look at us now right <clears throat> Yeah, well, I do have a college degree, Mark, but anyway. Oh, do you? Yeah, I do. <laughs> but, you know, I went to college literally because I didn't know what I was going to do with my life. And when I left college, I still didn't know what I was going to do with my life. So that's like a whole bunch of money completely wasted. But uh, <laughs> anyway, but no, so so what I, what I was going to say is that, um, do you know, like, when I was working, working, I used to be a chef. So um, I used to work, and I used to go online. And I used to see all these people, like all these, like people just living this amazing lifestyle on the beaches, traveling and what we know, they're having like breakfast in Paris, they're having lunch in Rome and they're having dinner in Munich. And I used to be like, how the hell are these people doing this? Like, how do these people afford to travel? And I can guarantee that most people watching this, this, uh, this video right now have thought the exact same thing. How on earth do these people manage to travel from one place to the next to the next to the next? This is how they do it, guys. It's taken me a long time to figure out this secret. It's not really a secret. This is what they do. They online market. They market for other companies, they make amazing commissions, and 
you know, you're making literally making money whilst you sleep because your ad, your ad say on Facebook, it's running, it's running 24 hours. So when you're asleep, it's running and it's making you sales. So you could wake up in the morning, you could check your phone and you could see five sales. You could say, oh my God, I just made like $700 like whilst I was sleeping. And that's when you know you're winning in life, when you're sleeping and you're actually making money. And this is the way that most people online make their money. And it is so incredible and it's just, it's just so, there's so much opportunity out there that all it takes is just for you to decide that this is the life that you want to live. Once you say, yep, I'm in, I'm all in, I want this. I don't want to go to work anymore. I don't want to work those 15 hours a day. I want to make money whilst I sleep because I swear to God, when I used to hear people say, I make money with that guy, I make money whilst I sleep. Like, I'm always making money. Do you not think that's crazy, Mark? When people oh, say, I make money. We used to joke around about it, like uh, when we first started getting going and it was like, it, it was crazy when we changed our mindset to being like, okay, tomorrow I'm gonna have to like, you know, change up some stuff so I can make some sales. And, and then you change that mindset. It's like, oh, I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and see how many sales I've made. And like that just changed right there. It's just crazy. And it, it's so cool to be able to have that kind of mindset that you know every morning you're gonna wake up. Guess what? There's gonna be more money in your bank account because you know how to target the right person. You know the right products that you there and you're turning one dollar into two i mean most times we turn one dollar into like four to like 15 but i mean technically that's what we're doing we're always trading money to make more money and that's the beauty of that uh online game if you stop trading your time for money and you start trading your time for really enjoyable memories and i think that's really what life's all about right so when oh, you can have automation working for you, like social media, you know, it, it, it's just, it, it opens up so much more time in your day to stop trading your time for money and start, you know, letting other people, other devices trade, you know, the, your money for more money. I mean, it's pretty Do you remember that? Do you remember when I used to, because me and Mark, kind of, we share our business, so we know exactly how much each other makes and stuff. We have each other's like logins and stuff like that. It's very weird, but you know. Work life, is, I mean, she knows all my passwords. It's, 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 it's what it works for us. <laughs> <laughs> so I used to wake up and I, before I used to, I used to just text Mark and be like, how much money did I make today? Uh, how much money did I make last night? Which was his, his day because I'm in Europe, he's in Canada. So, and I used to just get, I didn't just say, did I make money? I was like, I wonder how much money, Mark, how much money did I make? Yeah. And he tell me, oh, I, uh, you know, you made like three hundred dollars. You made. Do you remember one time? I think I made three thousand something dollars when I was sleeping, and I was just like, like oh my god! <laughs> As I still get excited when I say that because it was my first huge, um, like you know, day kind of thing, and I made all this money, and I just was like, imagine, just imagine that happens every single night when I'm sleeping. I mean, just th like $3,000, like I used to make, you know, you make, people make that in a month and I literally made it in eight hours and I was asleep. Yeah. Like, that I, that's what I used to make in a month and I managed a million dollar business and that's all I was making. And then all of a sudden changing that to like, you know, making that while you sleep, it's just like, it's so hard to believe, but it's so easy to achieve once you just put your mind to it, right? Yeah, it's just amazing. Like, it's still like, you know that feel? I don't know. I don't know if people would even understand this, but this feeling that you get, you know, you know, you're about to sleep, right? So you're going to sleep. You're winding down. I'm obviously before I sleep, I watch some, you know, TV series or something. Uh, Mark interrupts me, asking me questions if I've watched it yet, and tries to ruin it and tell me what happens. And, and she tells me to stop like at least five times, but I keep going because you know. So you did, right? <laughs> hate when people do that <laughs> and, uh, no, <laughs> and you go to see and and you know that when you wake up you've already made money i mean if that does not start your day right i don't know what will because the fact that you've already started on like profiting before you've even opened your eyes it just it just changes it changes everything for you guys like i'm sorry i'm getting really passionate about this but it's because i spent so such a long time looking for this and when i found it i didn't believe that it was going to work for me and then when i started believing it started working 
And now, just constantly work. Constantly work. Every single night I wake up to money. Every single night. And I'm making so much money now, like every month, that I, I'm not going to say I don't know what to do with it because that's ridiculous. I mean, I'm not making like millions a month, but um, enough money that, you know, I'm living this super comfortable lifestyle. I mean, I'm going going overseas uh, in, in two weeks then I come back and I go overseas again like three weeks after that then I come back I think another three weeks after that I'm traveling again you know I'm, I'm just always always going and going and going and this is because of this lifestyle it's because of marketing online on Facebook like, totally. I mean ridiculous <laughs> yeah skills that you don't need to spend thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars and put yourself in severe debt to be able to achieve right uh so i'm just gonna uh, shout out some people that are following us right now just some people that commented here hey kyle how's it going hey russell hey tomorrow um yeah guys i mean I really, really appreciate you guys, you know, joining us live. And if you know anybody else that wants, that can see value in here, tag it. Uh, please like, comment, share, share this everywhere. And, you know, subscribe for, for seeing more of our videos because we're just going to keep putting them out, keep putting out this content. And Kyle, yeah, it is very super creepy that they, they know all that information. Uh, so if you guys want to learn these skills, if you can see the value here and you want to know, even if you want some questions answered, just reach out to Louise and me we're always willing to like help you guys help you know really achieve new things like that's it's so cool other than my kids being born um like the best feelings that i've pretty much ever got is when i've like fully changed somebody's life when they can say that they achieve freedom when they can say that you know forever they will be blessed um and that was because of some of the work and some of the knowledge i was able to instill on them like it's just a crazy speed uh, but anyways, I'm going to stop talking here. I'll let Louisa just finish this off. Uh, is there any last notes or anything like that that you want to tell everybody before we tune off for this week? I do. I want to tell you guys that if you have been thinking about dipping a toe in online marketing, starting your own online business, stop procrastinating and just do it. Because every day that you postpone is a day where you could have been making money. And it's a day where you're going to get closer to living, you know, a, a life of freedom. I know it sounds really corny and really pitchy. I'm not trying to pitch you, but I'm just saying, just do it, guys. Just, it's just make a decision and do it. Just, just do it. That's it. I'm done. Love it, love it. All right, guys, much love. We will see you next week on our next video. Take care.